Oh! Well, this is the coolest landing I've ever done. Our guys got the new Traxxas XRT 8S out and also the Traxxas Sledge. It's kind of a Traxxas day. We're gonna give this baby a pounding too. I've got a couple of new upgrades on this thing I wanna go over from my M2C Racing. Uh, this Traxxas uh, XRT 8S is an amazing truck. Had a blast with it, first maiden bash. Uh, no big brakes on it. The only thing that snapped out of the gate, which a lot of people are having issues with, is this rear uh, wing mount bumper right here. A big shout out to a Garage Life RC. This is his uh, 3D printed XRT mount right here, if you guys can see that. It's kind of in the shade, but it looks really, uh, really rigid. It's still got some uh, some flex in it, it's really beefy. And there's a shot of his decal right there, Garage Life RC, you guys check out his uh, store. As far as the electronics, I'm still running a Max 6 in here. Uh, stock motor uh, with 2346 gearing, the speed gearing, except I am running a hot racing uh, steel spur, hardened steel spur. I didn't even bother with the stock gear because I knew it would just shred in seconds. So, so far it's holding up. We'll just have to see how it does uh, for another run. So far the tires are holding up pretty good. They got a really nice feel to them. I did go ahead and vent these. I got a little bit of water in them on the last bash, so I don't want that in there to uh, deteriorate the foams. But other than that, guys, this truck is uh, still pretty much all stock. Looking forward to getting some M2C racing goodies on it. There's a new M2C motor mount in the works to uh, really house a big can. And on the sledge, I do have these M2C bladderless shock caps on here, the uh, ZRS system you can pair with the M2C pistons. Super butter smooth suspension and should stop some of that after bounce. And also these uh, steel shock standoffs right here, if you guys can see that. Should definitely be the icing on the cake with this truck with all the other M2C upgrades that are on it. And also these uh, suspension blocks right here. These are super beefy 7075 blocks because uh, the stock blocks are really thin. And also on your uh, B block back here, it has a piece of plastic uh, behind it. So uh, what happens is when you bend these or they get torqued, it also uh, snaps your hinge pins because you get all that extra play and extra flex in your blocks, which will cause you to bust your hinge pins too. So these right here ought to hold everything together. There's no play in it. Everything's nice and snug. Here's a shot of the uh, C block. And of course I got the D block back here. I did switch the motor from that uh, Hobby Star 1480 KV I had in here to this uh, 1250 KV uh, 8S motor. Uh, what happened is I started having some really bad power cuts uh, off the ramp and stuff when I was testing these parts earlier last week and had a really bad crash and ended up uh, uh, breaking the M2C motor mounts. Uh, lost power. Oh! So I got a new mount in it. I'm running a 2746 on the gearing right now. We'll just have to keep an eye on the temps and I'll see how she does. All right, guys, let's give these trucks a little run and see what's up. Durability test. Oh, oh. Well, guys, that was right on that rear wing. That would be a good test of the uh, Garage Life RC wing support. <laughs> I couldn't get it rotated after that kick up. Yeah, still there. Still standing strong. This got rained on with mud. <laughs> well guys, looks like I finally got a major breakage here. This uh, rear drive cup snapped. So I'm surprised it lasted this long, but I do have an extra one, but I'm gonna run the sledge for a little bit. Oh! 
because this thing almost has too much power with that uh, 1250 in it. I may be over geared. Guys, this thing has so much power with that 1250 in it. Overload of torque. See? <laughs> All right, guys, this will be fun. We're going to play jump the tractor and probably land on that pile of dirt over there. I have no idea. It's just going to be a sketch jump. Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> Landed way down there in that pit. On the flat, at least. Oh, <laughs> there goes the tire. Oh, that did not look good. Well, found the tire over here in the brush. Well, this is the coolest landing I've ever done. All right, quick damage report. That was pretty brutal. I did bust a uh, shock standoff back there. It looks like the uh, pin uh, pretty much just came out of the uh, end hex right there and just shot the tire off. That must have been a really, really nasty landing. I almost didn't see it. I tried to get a uh, spin around in time to see it, but... Oh well, that's just how it is when you uh, bash hard. Sounded like a gunshot off in the woods. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. That was a nice little stunt. Oh boy. You never know what you're gonna run into out here in these construction sites. Hey guys, my wing right here is uh is busted. The bolts have sheared off at the top, so it's just kind of hanging on by a limb. Anyway, the sledge is a is a beast with all the uh, M2C upgrades. Again, it's a big shout out to uh, Mitch and Avery.